the hell? Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here, man? It's a private residence, man! Friends, I absolutely love this book. I give it four and a half stars. If you need more detail, just keep watching because I'll keep talking. So this is an excellent book, but for a little while I thought it wasn't my book. You know, it wasn't really what uh, I would normally read. It felt like it was like Bridget Jones's diary. It was, it's like a romantic drama. I don't Do I look like a romantic drama guy? I'm, I'm not if that's what you think. And, um, and so I kind of slogged through it. But because it's Sarah Pimborough, I'm like, no, and everybody's talking about the end of this book and how mind-blowing it is. And of course, whenever they talk about the ending of a book being mind-blowing, then all of, a, all of a sudden, the time you spend reading a book, you're thinking about the end and you're kind of thinking about uh, what the possible twist could be that's got everybody talking. So you spend a lot of time going over in your mind trying to figure out how it's going to end um but but i given up on it a little bit in the middle there and i kind of put it down it took me a long time to get through and i should have known better because the first book i read by sarah pimborough is they say a girl died here once from earthling excellent book and the ending is is mind-blowing and uh loved it i devoured this book it was the first Halloween series book I bought from Earthling. You should check it out. There are still copies available of this. And it was it was insane. It's my first Sarah Pimborough book, and I loved it. And then the next thing I read by her was a short story in Hark, The Herald Angels Scream. I you know, I keep saying it like the song. Hark the Herald Angels Scream. It's really sing. But it's Hark, the Herald Angels Scream. That's how I want to do it, just mess you up. And her story in here was like a haunted old, you know, what is it called? It's the the Hangman's Bride. Awesome story. So um, I have a nasty habit of thinking some authors are awesome and then I never read any more by them. So I was at the dollar store and this came uh, on the thrift shop. Thrift shop, not dollar store. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll read it. And then... I had it on my shelf for a long time, and then Netflix did a movie on it. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I should move it up my TBR pile. And I love Sarah Pimborough, so then I started reading it. So all that's the backstory about how I don't know why I gave up on it. I don't know why I lagged. Because, you know, again, the romantic, com not romantic comedy, but the romantic drama. Basically, a woman <clears throat> starts sleeping with her boss, or, or there's, gets entangled with her boss. This guy who she discovers is her boss, is her new boss. And then she becomes best friends with his wife. So it's sort of like a Three's Company episode. And I'm like, okay, where's this going? Oh my God. So like I said, when everybody talks about the twist end, you sit there and you're trying to pick up on the clues. You know, oh, the author's bringing us here. No, stop. I figured out some of it. Some of it, I'm like, yeah, I, I figured that out. I, I, yeah, but man, you didn't figure it out. Nobody could figure it out. It's insane. So I was a doubting Thomas or a doubting Jeffrey, and uh, I gave up on an author I love only to be proven why I should not have lost the faith. Sarah Pimborough came through. This is fantastic read. And this is the book. This is the book. Book of the Month Club edition from 2017. I highly recommend you getting this and reading it. It is so much fun. This is like if that you book by Carolyn Kepnes Kepnes 
I don't know. I don't know how to say uh, that author's name. This is like if you was genius level and metaphys with metaphysical elements. That's that's what I'd compare this to. I read you. I liked you. It wasn't really my thing though. It was a lot less of my thing than this book. Behind her eyes. Wow. Check it out. Get it. Let it sink in. And uh, like I said, four and a half stars. So that's that's really the review. You can leave now. You can go. Uh, uh, I got a little book by Sarah Pimborough that I can't wait to read now. Great author. I'll, I'll read anything by her. She's awesome. So, yeah, you... Just, you know, however you came in, that's cool. No, you can't use the bathroom. Stay frosty. I can't promise this next video will be good, or if you subscribe, you'll get a good video, but I can promise you there will be more videos.